Hi, I'm Patrick de Lourdes, Strength and Conditioning Coach from Montreal Canadian. And today we're going to talk about different variations of squat. First of all, let's start with goblet squat. A goblet squat is when you hold either a dumbbell or a kettlebell in front of you. The second variation is a back squat, is when you're having the weight staying on your upper back. And the third variation is a front squat, is when the barbell is like resting on your shoulder or upper chest. To teach a good squat variation, the first step will be to start with the goblet squat. It is the easiest, the one that you can start with the lowest weight and teach proper position of the upper back. Goblet squat, you can use either a dumbbell or a kettlebell. Selling yourself up slightly in front of you, driving your shoulder back. From here, you're gonna place your feet slightly wider than your hips, more shoulder width, driving your feet to the outside, driving your knees to the outside. Initiate the movement at your hips, pushing those back, setting yourself under control, stopping 90 degrees, keeping your back flat, pushing yourself back up, squeezing your glutes, breathing in on the way down, hold, breathing out. As you're setting up for a back squat, you're gonna rack yourself under the bar. Feet shoulder width apart. Same thing, feet driving out, knees driving out. Pushing up, one step back, equalize the feet. From here, my bar is in a high bar position, resting more on my trap for a low bar position. The bar is gonna be slightly more placed on the top of my scap, more reliling on my posterior deltoids. Same principle here, squeezing the bar against my body using my hands, elbows driving down. I'm going to push my hips back, initiating the movement. 90 degrees, back is flat, pushing back up. Breathing in on the way down. Pause at 90 degrees. Breathing out. As in this position, I'm going to direct more work at my gluteal muscle. As if I change for a front bar position, the challenge is going to be put more on the quads. The hamstring is always the muscle that is involved in the centric position. Absorbing the force on the way down, helping on the way up. For a front squat. Now for video purposes, I'm going to be facing you. However, this is not the ideal position. You should always be facing the squat rack for safety purposes. For a front rack position, there's two options for your hands. The first one is an Olympic position. Bring my hands underneath, driving my elbows up so my T-spine is open. If you cannot accomplish the first position because you're lacking of flexibility or you feel discomfort at your wrist, you can set up yourself under the bar using your shoulder muscle driving up, crossing my hands over with the barbell resting on my shoulder. Very important. My elbows are driving right in front of me. The upper part of my arm are parallel to the floor. From here, it's exactly the same principle. Driving my feet into the floor, pushing my knees out, initiating the movement at my hips. Breathing in on the way down, breathing out on the way up. 